Welcome to an advanced topic in Java which is cloning. Okay. Cloning is a technique which is nothing but a bitwise copy of everything the object has except the data it has okay the entire thing is copied let's say a sheep one is an object and you copy it somehow uh, by the way to clone this sheep into another object in java is just called the clone object method in the object class very simple okay and let's pretend you have a simple integer variable let's say age and a reference variable that's pointing to something right let's call it uh, whatever that is to an array okay this is a reference object it does just two indices zero and one right very simple and so this is a reference variable which is pointing to some memory location right now when you clone this okay let's pretend that ship one has been cloned so we will clone it to say ship two using this clone method that we talked right so we have two after cloning we have now two objects so we have the same integer age here right and the reference variable also you got here but the problem is we don't the cloning doesn't go ahead and clone even the memory locations it's pointing to what it does is it gives you same address which is pointing to the same array if sheep one pretend it's put some values in this an array let's say to 10 and say 20 the sheep 2 can access the same data it could even change to to some other values leading to confusion so sheep 1 wrote some value 10 and 20 but sheep 2 after cloning it can access the same data through this reference variable and can change it okay so that is a problem number two problem with cloning is pretend you intentionally destroyed this ship one right when you destroy this ship one intentionally what happens is a lot of programmers they may think they are also destroying this data memory location actually it's not so ship 2 has still access to that okay this goes against the programming methodology when an object creates a data a memory location 
prior to its own destruction it's supposed to go ahead and clean it up release this memory too but in Java it's not possible because of that sheep 2 still has access to the same memory location which goes against the programming methodology okay that's not the way it's done so you got to be careful when you clone that reference variables which are pointing to memory locations are equally accessible to other cloned objects and they may can can go ahead and update these values right creating confusion creating instability in the program and a lot of programmers actually unaware of this kind of things that happen when you do cloning so you got to keep a close or monitor these kind of things okay thank you